Animal Rights in Islamic, Christian, and Jewish Sharia Part 3 Chapter 3 Violation of Animal Rights in Other Societies One Male Chick Culling Every year 200 million male chicks are killed at a day old, after coming out of the egg. The reason for this is that in capitalist countries the male chicks are considered as an economic burden without any anticipated benefit from them. Because males cannot produce eggs, and they are not used for meat because they do not grow fast enough, so they are considered as useless in egg industry and meat industry. Due to this they are exterminated in an inhumane manner such as the following. 1. Maceration, the chicks are minced alive in an industrial macerator. 2. Suffocation, the chicks are placed in large numbers alive in plastic bag that will be closed tight until they die from suffocation. 3. Gases or gas mixtures, carbon dioxide is used to induce unconsciousness and then death. For cervical dislocation, by breaking the chick's neck. 5. Electrocution, an electric current is passed through the chick's body until it is dead. 2. Eating animals whilst they are alive. In Japan eating sea animals whilst they are alive is known as a kazukuri which means prepared alive, where a fish is sliced without killing it. Then it is served to customers whilst its heart still beats and its mouth still opens and closes. In China, inyang fish dish is considered as the most popular fish dishes, where a fish is a deep fried whilst it is still alive, without frying its head. Then it is served alive to customers whilst its head still moves. In Denmark, Milma restaurant serves its customers with dishes of food with a live black ant on them as starters. In Japan, a frog's belly is open and cleaned of its intestines whilst it is still alive, it is then cut into pieces alive and served to customers whilst the head is alive and shaking. In the year 2012 in Florida, USA, eating competition was held for eating live crickets, immediately after the competition, the winner died out of suffocation. 3. Skinning live animals for fur There is a video in circulation in the social media that exposes one of the fur farms in China, whereby this farm skinning the animals whilst they are alive for their fur for docking the tails and cropping the ears of some breeds of dogs. Docking is the removal of portions of an animal's tail. Cropping is the removal of part or all of the penny or oracles, the external visible flap of the ear of an animal, it sometimes involves taping to make the ears pointy. Most of the owners of some dog breeds such as Doberman, Pitbull, and Boxer are docking their dog's tails and cropping their ears whilst they are puppies. Tail docking occurs in one of two ways. 1. Constricting the blood supply to the tail with a rubber ligature for a few days until the tail falls off. 2. Cutting the tail with surgical scissors or a scalpel. Tail docking is done mostly for cosmetic purposes, and this makes animal rights activists call for the criminalization of such terrible practice. At the international level, 25 European countries that have ratified the European Convention for the Protection of Pet Animals have banned docking and cropping because they consider the practices unnecessary, painful, cruel, or mutilation. However some, however, some countries that ratified the convention made exceptions for tail docking, and those countries are, France, Germany, Luxembourg, Denmark, Czech Republic, Portugal. 5. Devocalization, debarking Devocalization is a surgical procedure performed on dogs and cats, where tissue is removed from the animal's vocal cords to permanently reduce the volume of its vocalizations, to prevent it from disturbing its colleagues or neighbors. Such a practice is banned from all the European countries that have ratified the European Convention for the Protection of Pet Animals. However, in the United States, this practice is legal in all the states, and it is banned only in Massachusetts by state law in 2010 and in Warwick, Rhode Island, by city ordinance in 2011. Legislation to ban devocalization of dogs and cats in New York State is underway. 6. Declawing, onychectomy Declawing is an operation to remove an animal's claw surgically by means of the amputation of all or part of the distal phalanges, or end bones, of the animal's toes. Because the claw develops from germinal tissue within the third phalanx, amputation of the bone is necessary to fully remove the claw. The reason behind declawing is to prevent damage to household possessions by scratching. In the United States of America, statistics indicate that 25% of domestic cats have been declawed, due to either the desire of cats' owners, or some privately owned apartment buildings in the U.S. ban cats unless they have been declawed. 7. Zoosadism Zoosadism is pleasure derived from cruelty to animals, either by burning, booting, squashing, or killing them. Zoosadism is part of the McDonald triad, a set of three behaviors that are considered a precursor to sociopathic behavior, those three behaviors are 
1. Arson or fire setting. 2. Cruelty to animals. 3. Aneurysis. Zoosadism towards insects is also exhibited by some. The classic example of this is the person who amuses himself by pulling off a fly's wings or burning it. The Roman historian Suetonius, in his The Twelve Caesars, claimed that the emperor Domitian amused himself by catching flies and impaling them with needles. 8. Spain and bullfighting, blood sport. Bullfighting is also known as blood sport, where a large number of bulls be released in the streets that lead to the bullring. The bulls run behind the people trying to gore them. Many people get injured putting their life in danger. After the bulls reach the bullring, only one bull will be released inside to be confronted by one toreador. The toreador tries to plant sharp arrows in the body of the bull, one arrow after the other. Enjoying the sight of blood dripping from the body of the bull and the excruciating pains that he causes them to the bull. After the Toreador finishes planting all his arrows and the bull becomes exhausted and covered with blood, the Toreador withdraws his sword to stab and kill the bull without any mercy or compassion. After the killing of the bull, four mules enter the bullring to pull the bull outside where the butcher is waiting, who in turn cuts its flesh and directs it for sale. 9. Animal Fighting Competitions They are betting competitions, such as cockfighting, dogfighting, insect fighting and ram fighting. They are the most brutal combat competitions where one animal fights another fiercely to death. These competitions have been expanded as an investment field in some countries to make profits from them, for example, some farms who are specialized in breeding fighting roosters. Injecting the roosters with banned steroids in order to strengthen their bodies abnormally for competitions. Worse than this, is that they remove the rear natural spur of the rooster and tie in its place a metal spur, called gaffs, or knives. A cock spur is a bracelet, often made of leather, with a curved, sharp spike which is attached to the leg of the bird, in order to make as much as possible damages to the body of the opposite rooster in the competition. 10. Whaling in Denmark Whaling is the activity of hunting whales. Each summer around 800 whales and dolphins are slaughtered in Faroe Islands, Denmark. Animal welfare organizations criticize the slaughter as being cruel and unnecessary, and due to this, the Faroese people try to improve the slaughtering methods in order to make them more humane. Chapter 4 Animal Rights and Christianity and Judaism 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 3 Now go and smite Amalekites, and utterly destroy all that they have, and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. Joshua chapter 6 verse 16 to 21, 16 And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. 17 And the city shall be. Seventeen and the city shall be accursed, even it, and all that are therein, to the Lord, only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all that are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. Eighteen and ye, in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest ye make yourselves accursed, when ye take of the accursed thing, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. Nineteen but all the silver, and gold, and vessels of brass and iron, are consecrated unto the Lord, they shall come into the treasury of the Lord. 20 So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets. And it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city. Every man straight before him, and they took the city. 21 And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox, and sheep, and ass, with the edge of the sword. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 1 to 4, 1 If one be found slain in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who hath slain him. 2 Then thy elders and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain. 3 And it shall be, that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of that city shall take an heifer, which hath not been wrought with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke. For and the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer unto a rough valley, which is neither eared nor sown, and shall strike off the heifer's neck there in the valley. Exodus chapter 13 verse 11, 11 And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, as he sware unto thee and to thy fathers, and shall give it thee. 12 That thou shalt set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, and every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the males shall be the Lord's. 13 And every firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem. 
Matthew chapter 8 verse 28, 28 And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Jerjesians, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. 29 And, behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? 30 And there was a good way off from them a herd of many swine feeding. 31 So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. 32 And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and, behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea, and perished in the water.